Explore, explore, we're all about it. Explore, 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 explore. God's word, don't doubt it. Explore, explore. We've got the Bible beat, so get on your feet. It's time to sing and praise. God's word is true, Jesus is there for you. It's time to sing and praise. Explore, explore, we're all about it. Explore, explore. Explore, explore, God's word, don't doubt it, explore, explore. The more we go, the more we grow, it's time to sing and praise. Jesus and you and your friends too, it's time to sing, it's time to sing and praise. Hey, welcome to Explore, everyone. Parents, it's so nice to have you join with us today. And to all the new people, you can't see it, but everyone's waving at you to say hello. Come on, everybody, wave at all the new people. Hey, welcome. Nice to have you join us. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. We hope you have an epic day today. So we are carrying on today with our journey called I Am, where we have been learning about the names of God. But before we jump into our story, first, we are going to worship that's right so before we worship why don't you close your eyes and let's pray together jesus thank you for today thank you that we can worship you thank you that we can sing to you thank you that you are so awesome and thank you that you are with us today in jesus name amen let's worship memory verse we've been learning well if you do why don't you say it nice and loud with me okay here we go john chapter 3 verse 16 for this is how god loved the world that he gave 
His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. Yo, what an amazing verse, guys. Okay, so now, are you guys ready to carry on learning about the different names of Jesus? Remember, for the past few weeks, all the stories we have been talking about, it's been about getting to learn the I am names of Jesus. Now, why was it so important to Jesus that we learn about his names? Well, do you remember what those names are we learned from the past few weeks? I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the gate for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and life. I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the true vine and you are the branches. Wow, that brings back so much epic memories of everything we've learned about Jesus over the past few weeks. And Jesus, Jesus wanted to teach us his names so that we could know how to become part of God's family. So that God could become our father just like he's Jesus' father. And now, our storyteller Connor, he's going to share more with us and let us learn about what it means that God is our father. So, here's Connor. Hello everybody, it is Connor and I am back and today I am a game ranger in the scarce, dangerous desert of the savannah with lions and elephants and giraffes. Did I say I absolutely love giraffes? Tall, eat thorns, they are beautiful and amazing. But then one day I was walking alongside and I saw a female, I saw a lion, a female and a male and its children, its pups, it was so cute. But then I saw a big angry buffalo charging to attack these little pups, the, the, the children of these lions. But oh my goodness, the father stood up of the lion, the male lion, and he made this massive roar. And I was so terrified, oh my goodness. But the pups were safe and they were so relaxed because they knew who her, their father was. And the buffalo ran like a little chicken and the pups were all around the father and the family and everyone was safe. You see, in the same way, God is our Father. He is strong and He has a mighty, mighty, mighty roar. And it can be terrifying. But when we are His children, we are safe. Just like the pups were safe by the big male father lion. And you see, Jesus also had a father. His father was God. Many, 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 many times, God called Jesus my one and beloved son. You see, there's a story in the Bible, in the book of Luke, um, where, where, where Jesus is with his family when he was still very young. He was 12 years old, and he, and he once a year with his family, they would go to the festival to have a great time to worship God in Jerusalem and together with everybody. But one particular year, they went, Jesus went with his family to have a great time at this festival, and it was great. But obviously, the festival ended, and they had to leave. And Jesus' Jesus' mother and father were like, cool, I'm sure Jesus is with us. And they went back home. But they soon realized Jesus was not with us. Where has Jesus gone? The Mary and Joseph, the parents of Jesus, were so frantic and surprised and scared and angry. They rushed back to the festival to search for Jesus. And then they found Jesus in a temple, listening, asking questions to the big religious leaders and the religious leaders were shocked. Wow, this Jesus is so smart and clever and wise. And Mary comes up to Jesus and says, What are you doing? Where have you been? And Jesus says, I have just been with my father in my father's house. You see, Jesus had a father, um, which was God. And God desires us to be his children and to call, call God father in the same way. But there's a big, big problem. Because of our sin, the things we do wrong, the bad stuff we do wrong, uh, we cannot be children of God. We cannot call God our Father because God hates all sin. He is perfect. He cannot be with bad stuff or any sin or any yucky stuff. He cannot. But you see, as we know, 
Jesus did something to take away the sin so that we could be children of God. Do you know what Jesus did to take away the sin? So what Jesus did was so amazing and terrific and also very heartbreaking that he died on a cross and he paid the price, the debt, the penalty, whatever you'd call it, for our sins. And Jesus was judged and he was judged by God for our sins. So through Jesus and through everything that Jesus did on the cross, God can come and completely forgive our sins, completely wipe them away through Jesus and make you and me a child of God when we believe and trust Jesus and God to do this. That is amazing, guys. So we can be children of God. We can call God Father just like Jesus when we believe that he died on the cross and to trust Jesus to forgive our sins only through what Jesus did on the cross. That's amazing, guys. That is incredible. You know, so I hope that we are at that point and we can trust and believe in Jesus Christ so, so we can become children of God. Now, here's the key point I want you guys to remember is this. Because of what Jesus did, did and because we're children of God through Jesus, we can come to God our Father anytime. We can call Him Father, we can talk to Him, and we can be with Him. We no longer need to go to big fancy temples. We can be with God anytime because through Jesus, we are all children of God and He is our Father. Thank you so much, guys. Yo, thank you so much, Connor. What an amazing story. I learned so much. Did you, if you did, why don't you share what you learned with your parents today? But now it is craft time yes so get ready we got a craft coming up right now hey kids i hope you guys enjoyed your story time uh, and had absolute fun so right now we're going to sit and we're going to do the craft together um i'm going to show you what you guys are going to need and what needs to be done and then you guys can show me your masterpieces afterwards so first, we're going to take this piece of paper. You're going to cut out the, the border around this paper. This is going to be your backing. Then we've got these two pieces. Very significant at the moment. Um, and you guys are going to see, I'm going to show you step by step on exactly what to do and how to glue this. And then we're going to decorate the rest of this um, to make it look nice. All right, so first things for you guys. You guys are going to obviously cut this out exactly how I have cut this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to glue the back of this picture. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to take our glue. I'm pretty good at sticking things. All right, so that's, that's your first step, guys. We're going to glue this piece to the, the, the back board or backing. Then with this, we're going to do something different. I want you guys maybe just to take these edges and fold them in just a little bit like so. All right. So that it's flush with the border because this piece, we're not sticking this piece. Okay. So what you guys are going to do, once you folded that, you know where to stop with gluing and then you're just going to glue the sides. Because right now we're making a picture frame. Now I want you guys, when you make this picture frame, be as creative as you want. I want you to stick it on your wall. I want you to put a photo of yourself or your parents or, you know, whatever that you guys may love. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this. Okay, we're going to stick it just like that. All right. So that this is open. And you can fit your piece of paper or whatever you want to stick inside here, a photo. All right, just to make it look real nice. Then what you guys can do next, you're going to take some colors. First, close the glue. You don't want this dropping on uh, the carpet or the floor, but difficult to clean up sometimes. Okay, you're going to take some colors. I'm just going to choose some random ones. Uh, let's look for blue. Can't go wrong with some blue. Orange, let's 
go with the green. All right, and then just go crazy, decorate, and see what you guys come up with. All right, guys, I'm actually looking for red now, so let's see. Okay, we've got a red pencil crayon. That should work. Ha! Red. There it is. All right, guys, before I say goodbye, one last thing we need to do for this is make some take our string and create a place where we can use to hang it so what i'm going to do is just cut a piece of string about that long okay i know it's a little bit much but what we're going to do is we just want to make a small hole i don't have a punch with me but i'll just use scissors and please ask your mom and dad to help you with this I don't want you guys getting cut. All right, what you guys are going to do is you're going to take your string. I want you to push your string through the hole. All right. And just tie it. Not too tight. You don't want to make it too tight that it tears your paper. You want to do a double knot so it doesn't come loose. Like so. And you can cut the end off there just to neaten it up make it look good and we're going to do the same thing for this side okay we're going to just loop that in there I'm sure you guys know how to tie if you don't know how to tie that well just ask mom and dad boom just like that all right guys here's our picture and now we can hang it all right, take care guys. Well done on your crafts everyone. I bet they are looking epic. So this is it for today, but can't wait to see you guys back again next week at Explore. Bye.